Okay, well I was going to stay for another couple of days, but given the successes of this morning, I think it's... And I think I'm going to move on and try something a little more ambitious. So, this is where we started. This is America, of course. This is where we started. Not quite Google Earth, I know. Um, about, ooh, ten days ago now. And we ploughed all the way across um, the Great Plains to the Badlands, where we saw all the sedimentary layers complete with that layer on top which is the layer of ash that was laid down by Yellowstone. Then we came up to Devil's Tower, which of course this huge volcanic plug that comes up through the best part of 150 million years worth of sedimentary rock. Then there was this ra rather magnificent drive across the Bighorns, which I've got on time-lapse and haven't put up yet. Um, and then there was this drive through uh, Yellowstone, which e e even a short drive through Yellowstone is fantastic, but um, and that brings me to the Tetons, which was basically the testing ground for the planes. So this is Wyoming here, and if we flip to Wyoming, um, what we find is we. So this is Wyoming. This is where we are in the Tetons. This is Yellowstone to the north. Um, and just so you know, this is where I had my appendicitis in Rock Springs last year. <laughs> um, now normally what I would do under these circumstances is head down to the Wind Rivers, um, which is this range of mountains here, which is truly fantastic. It's got this thing called the Cirque of the Towers, which is a truly inspiring um, view. And... The, the only problem is it's about 20 miles down dirt roads to get to it and then it's basically a backpacking trip to get in and out so um, and I've not really figured out how to transport the planes yet so I'm gonna hold off on the wind rivers um, so the choices are north through Yellowstone I was actually planning to stop off in the morning and try and get some footage of the Giza Basin um, from the air but eh, I'm confident, but not that confident yet. Um, and I've also got a feeling that crashing your plane into their geezers would be something they'd get fairly irate about. So, Right, so what I'm going to do is, I've been told by word of mouth that there's an absolutely magnificent falls just down here somewhere called Granite Falls, which I've never seen before. So I'm going to... Um, actually, no, it's down here. It's, it's about there, um, just off Hobart Junction. And... So I was going to give that a go for this morning, and then I think I'm going to head out to Idaho Falls. And when you head out... So, the next thing coming out will be coming out through Idaho Falls. There's a couple of things down here. There's an experimental... You, um, the, the first ever breeder reactors down here, which is a sort of historical monument. You can look around there. Then there's Craters of the Moon. That's like a desolate wasteland, but... That's great for, um, uh, no, 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 no one's going to care about you flying your planes there. Then, um, I've never been through the Sawtooth, so I want to go through the Sawtooths. Um, and so I'm going to try this road up here to get to Glacier. And Glacier is an absolutely fantastic um, views in Glacier. So what it is, is the Rockies have risen up, but here you've still got some of the, um, the sedimentary rock on top of them. And you can't really climb any of them, but you get some fantastic views. So now it's probably going to come down here. If I remember rightly, I want to do a time lapse of this road into Rainier, I think it is. So these are now the Cascades. These are the volcanoes down the Californian coast caused by the subduction. Um, but Rainier, I think, is the biggest. But um, what's great about it is you can see it from about 100 miles away. And... First of all, you go through little ravines, and the little ravines turn into little valleys, and the little valleys turn into big valleys, and eventually... So, basically, you, you get to see the terrain change as you approach this volcano for about, mm, probably 100 miles. So you see it on the horizon first, and as you drive in, um, you sort of drive in through the er eroded um, shield, the huge shield of the volcano. So that's a fantastic drive into there. 
and I've not really given it much thought from there. Um, Columbia River's good. Um, then probably either down the coast or th th there's lots of volcanoes down here. Crater Lake's a good one. So that's um, a collapsed volcanic caldera. But anyway, so that's the immediate plan is I think out to Craters of the Moon, Glacier, Rainier, and then down the coast and we'll figure out what we're doing on the way.